congratulations, you're into the Super Regional. So let's start with that. How's that type of achievement? What does that mean for you as well as this team? Yeah, no, I think we're really excited about it. I think we we felt we were one of the definitely one of the best 16 teams in the country. Uh, felt pretty good about this regional. It was a tough regional, obviously, um, but kind of doing what we did. We played great defense. We hit really well, and, and we pitched well. But we felt good coming up here. Knew it was going to be a test. It was, uh, but we're excited about next week for sure. And three consecutive wins by 10-2 virtue. I don't know how many times we get to see the same score repeated like that. But no call. Stedman on Friday noted. 10 runs a game. That's the goal in mind. To see your offense come through three for three this weekend. I mean, you guys are rolling right now. What does that do for you as a coach? Yeah, I mean, I think I think it's it's kind of we know who we are and we play really good defense and we hit like we talked about on Friday. Um, and, and we're not always going to get to that 10 and we understand it, but I think it's just that mentality of just keep going and keep competing. And, uh, you know, two of the games in this regional, we, we struggled a little bit early, uh, but at some point, you know, that second and third time through the order, I think we really pride ourselves on making adjustments. And that's what we did all three games today. And, and you know, we defended it really well and we're extremely happy about it. Well, we talked about the two out hitting yesterday too. Four runs of the six that come across the fifth two out virtue, but I actually want to ask you something a little different. Yeah. And this probably comes down to who you are as a coach, but during that rain delay, what, what are you doing? Are you talking to your players? Are you let them have that time to themselves? You know, what does that duration look like for you? Yeah, we talk a lot about trust. And honestly, I didn't say one word to them. Um, and I really don't talk to them much. Early in the year I did, but before games. Um, seniors may say a couple of things, but, you know, I tell them every day I love them and I trust them. And that's all we can do, right, is, is the game's in front of them. They decide the game. Uh, it's a really mature group. It's a veteran group. Um, I just trust, like I said, they're going to compete. And, and sometimes I think we can overcoach a little bit as coaches and say too much uh, and maybe put them on edge, man. But I'm really comfortable with this crew of truly just, hey, let's write the lineup card out. We know what our approach is and let them loose and let them play. Coach, you brought Connor Adams back after the rain delay. I know he, he ended, but after an hour, he usually pushed up, brings him back out. Talk to me about that decision. Yeah, uh, well, a couple things went into it, obviously. Uh, he only threw 25 pitches on Friday. Uh, he's a guy that bounces back extremely well. Uh, he's got a really loose arm. Uh, he'd only thrown 10 pitches, I think. And, you know, I did ask him how he felt, and he said he felt fine. So I, I really wasn't that because He's one guy that it probably didn't even cross my mind about whether I'd run him out there again or not. Yep. Awesome. Thank you.